In this lesson, we'll be solving two-step equations using both paper and our algebra tiles. We'll be looking at two examples that take the form of ax plus b is equal to c. So let's begin. Chris went to the store and bought three pairs of fuzzy elephant socks and an elephant hat for a total of $25. If the hat cost $10, how much did each pair of socks cost? Before we can start solving this problem, we have to write an equation. So let's start by looking at the key information. There were three pairs of elephant socks, and we need to find out what each pair cost. So let's call our socks X. Chris bought three pairs of them, so that would be 3X. He also bought a hat for $10, and the total was $25. So the equation for this problem would be 3X plus 10 is equal to 25. To help us visualize how to solve this equation, we're going to use our algebra tiles. To represent 3x, I'm going to use three of the green rods. And to represent each dollar, I will use a yellow square. So I will need to put 10 yellow squares on this side of the scale and 25 yellow squares on the other side of the scale. Remember, we need to keep the scale balanced. So whatever I do on one side of the scale, I have to do on the other. To solve this problem, I want to get the variable by itself. So I'm going to need to remove 10 tiles from each side of the scale because we always need to keep that scale balanced. If I was to do this on paper, I would subtract $10 from each side of the equation. This would give me 3x is equal to 15. To find the value of x, I need to divide each side by 3. It's clear with the manipulatives, there are three groups of 5. And it doesn't seem to matter whether I solved it on paper or I solved it with the manipulatives. Any way you look at it, the socks are $5 a pair. The next step, of course, is to check our problem. We will go back to the original equation that we wrote. Remember, we found that x was equal to $5. So the first step would be to substitute 5 everywhere we see an x. So 3 times 5 is 15, and when we add the 10, we get 25. Since we have $25 on both sides of the equation, we know the value of x was 5, and the problem checks. Let's take a look at another problem. An average American family recycles 4.4 pounds of material a day. In addition, they throw away 13.6 pounds each day. How much waste, on average, did each person produce? Like before, we're going to start with writing an equation. There are four people in the family, and each one of them produces an unknown amount of waste. We will represent the amount of waste each person produces with a variable x. And since there are four people in the family, that would be 4x. Of the waste the family produces, it recycles 4.4 pounds. So we would subtract 4.4 pounds, and then that total should equal 13.6 pounds. That's the amount of trash that we actually throw in the trash can. A couple of things we need to notice here. We have a subtraction problem. Traditionally, what we do is rewrite that problem as an addition problem, since we know that subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite. Now I'm going to try and use my algebra tiles to represent this situation. 4x is easy, but it's harder to represent a decimal. Still, decimals are more like real life. Things do not often come in neat little bundles. So instead of using the yellow pieces, I'm simply going to write it out on paper, negative 4.4. So this side of the scale will represent the first part of the equation, and the second part of the equation will represent it on the other side of the scale, which should be 13.6. Now we want to get the variable by itself. So to remove negative 4.4, we need to add its opposite, positive 4.4. And because we want to keep the scale balanced, we'll be adding it to both sides. Negative 4.4 plus 4.4 is 0. And when we combine the 13.6 with the 4.4, we get a total of 18. The next step, of course, would be find out how much 1x would be. So we need to break the 18 to 4 equal pieces by dividing by 4, giving us 4.5. So the average person produces 4.5 pounds of waste each day. We're not done yet. We need to go and check the equation. We will be substituting the 4.5 for x. 4 times 4.5 is 18. And when we subtract 4.4, we get 13.6. You can notice that both sides of the equation are equal, so the problem checks. For those of you who like to see the process without any of those pesky numbers, the two examples we just looked at were equations of the form ax plus b equals c. You can solve any of these problems by doing two simple steps. First, we add the opposite of b, 
to both sides of the equation. Then we divide both sides by a, and the result is the solution for x.